All right, guys, let's go over your tests. And we'll actually, uh, Xander, I've just been picking on you, so we're just going to keep picking. How's that? So Xander's going to tell us what an amniotic egg is, please. Um, it's a shell that, like, it's a water-retaining egg. I like it. That's good. It's a, 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 an egg that keeps its water in. Okay? Thank you. Um, would you tell us what hematoxin is, please? Um, it's a... Uh Venom that attacks the blood cells and blood tissue. Good. Something about a venom that attacks either the blood cells or you could have said the circulatory system. Either way. Thank you very much. Daniel? Is an endotherm like percolating body? Okay, good. An endothermic individual is warm blooded, so they're able to regulate their own body temperature. Thank you very much. Um, Josh, we're on placenta, please. Well, uh, an organ that helps nourish the child that is attached to the mother. Okay, so it's actually between the mother and the baby and the nourishment flows across it. Thank you very much. Jason, gestation? It's the uh, <clears throat> time it takes for the pregnancy to last from conception to birth. Good. It's the length of the pregnancy. Thank you very much. Number two, please. Uh, vertebrate has a four-chambered heart that is amniotic eggs with a line containing shell and it has a light core skeleton. Is it a reptile, bird, or mammal? Bird. Definitely be a bird. Thank you, sir. Jonathan? A vertebrate has dry, tough scales, a three-chambered heart with a partial division in the ventricle, and it breathes with lungs. Is it a reptile, bird, or a reptile? Good. Thank you very much. Uh, so I guess, Carrie, you're doing the next one, please. A vertebrate has a four-chambered heart, hair, and nourishes its young with its own milk. Is it a reptile, bird, or mammal? mammal? Thank you. It's a mammal. Keep going. Go ahead, Zach. Um, oh, never mind, Zach. I won't torture you with that. I'll tell you what. You do number six, okay? Um, so, uh, just because I don't want you to have to suffer through saying all these. So A, tuatara is in rhynchocephalia. B, lizards is in squamata. C, crocodiles is in crocodilia. And D, turtles is in testudines. Okay. Thank you. So, Zach, you're going to do number six for us. Please, sir. A living vertebrae is endothermic. Is it possible that the vertebrae is a reptile? No. Thank you, because reptiles are ectothermic, aren't they? Thank you very much. Josh? What kind of feather has hooked barbules? Contour feathers or down feathers? Contour. Thank you. Contour feathers. Thank you very much. Uh, we're up to you, Hannah. You find an egg in your backyard. It is covered in a soft layer of shell. Is it a reptile egg or a bird egg? Very good. Thank you. It would be a reptile egg. Number four, please, Ryan. Uh, nine, please, Ryan. I'm sorry. A bird's feathers become inflexible because the hooked bar barbules do not slide easily on the smooth barbules. What should the bird do to fix it? Um, start preening. Good. Start preening. Remember, that's that oil gland near the tail that it runs through its feathers and straightens them out. Thank you very much. So up to Jordan. Okay, a mammal lives in a cold climate and needs a lot of insulation. Will its guard hair or under hair be significantly thicker than the average mammal's? Its under hair will be thicker? Good. Its under hair is used for insulation, so that would be the case. Thank you. I didn't bring my test, but I did my test. Okay. So should I read it? Sure, go ahead and, and read it for us. Thank you. Uh, two uh, species of animals are very similar in appearance. The first species gives birth to offspring that have no hair. Their eyes are also closed. The second species gives birth to offspring that have full coat of hair. Their eyes are also open, which species had a shorter uh, gestation period. Sure. The one that's less developed would have the shorter gestation period. So in this case, the less developed one would be the one with the eyes closed and no hair. Good. That would be the shorter gestation. Thank you very much. Uh, Tim, you get to identify the structures. Yep. A is the amnion. B is the al alantuus. Alantuus. Uh, C is the yolk sac. Mm -hmm. Albumin. Albumin. Good. They are worth four points apiece. That includes A is worth four, B is worth four, C is worth four. Okay. Um, and then each of the vocabularies are worth four. Okay. All right. 
Uh, more importantly, because I'm going to lose some of you after this year, so I want to make sure that the thing I want to invest most in you is that God's word is true. Every word in it. Remember, it's not about us. It's all about Jesus. Keep your focus. Plant God's word in your heart daily. Talk to him continuously. Seek after him and reach for him constantly. And remember not to let him go. Okay? And remember that if for some reason you feel like Jesus has moved, he doesn't move, we do. And I'm going to warn you one other thing that I found at my age. If you're not moving towards Jesus, you're moving away from him. There is no standing still with the Lord. Okay? So always remember that. And that means we constantly need to be making him our passion and seeking after him with our whole being. Okay? So if you take nothing else away, cotyledons and such, remember that. All right? All right, you guys, have a Jesus-filled life.